The greenhouse is a building made primarily of glass. It's used to grow plants and flowers. Because it's made of glass, the sun rays will easily enter the building and you'll get tons and tons of sunlight entering. The sun will heat up the inside of the building and that heat will try to escape but the glass will prevent it and trap the heat inside of that building. So the plants will not only get a lot of sun entering but it will receive all, a lot of heat that's being trapped by the glass. The same thing happens um, when you drive a car in the summertime. Let's say you take the car to the mall, you park it into the lot, and you're shopping for three or five or twelve hours, or whatever, um, and the sun will enter the car, heat up the inside of the car, the heat will try to escape, but it will be trapped. So in those hours that you're at the mall, um, the car will become warmer and warmer and by the time you come back to the car it will be extremely hot because of all of the heat being trapped. The same thing happens on Earth with our atmosphere. Of course our Earth isn't covered by you know, a, a wall of glass, it is covered by our atmosphere gases. And the gases that we are talking about are CO2, carbon dioxide, H2O, water vapor, and another gas called methane. And these are the three main greenhouse gases. What happens is the sun, again, will go through our atmosphere, reach Earth. Earth will become warmer, will get heated, heated up, and the heat will try to escape but the gases will prevent it. The gases will actually absorb this heat. And so the heat will be absorbed by the CO2 and the water vapor and the methane. And that way our atmosphere becomes warmer, our Earth becomes warmer, and we're able to uh, stay warm on Earth. It's kind of like having a blanket covering us. And the heat will try to escape but the heat will be trapped, just like inside that greenhouse. Now, if we didn't have this blanket of gases, if we didn't have this blanket of, of uh, atmosphere, and the heat were allowed to just escape, the Earth would just become too cold. If the heat escaped our atmosphere and went out into space, the Earth would not trap any heat and it would just be too cold for us to live. And so the greenhouse effect is a necessary thing. We have to have it. Um, a lot of students get confused with global warming when they hear the word greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect is necessary. We need to have it. Right? Otherwise we'd freeze. The bad part comes is when this blanket becomes too thick, when we have too much greenhouse gases and we trap too much heat. And that will happen with, with factories and cars. Because what will happen is that we'll have all this factory smoke and car emissions from the burning of fossil fuels. All right, fossil fuels of like you know coal and oil, right? So we burn these fossil fuels and we put out tons and tons of CO2 out into the atmosphere, and our atmospheric blanket becomes too thick, and we become warmer and warmer, and that, of course, is called global warming. Global warming. And that's the thing that's the bad thing, right? That, global warming, that is the bad thing, all right? He's crying. He's sad. So greenhouse effect, good, all right, because it keeps us warm. Otherwise, we freeze if we didn't have the greenhouse effect. But global warming is a bad thing, and that comes from the burning of fossil fuels, burning of fossil fuels, and, um, and the the production of too much CO2 into our atmosphere. All right, so thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.